In this section, we study iterate collection. So what are the ways you can iterate over a collection? A unique way of iterate a collection is called an iterator. Iterators are more efficient to iterate. So in order to use iterators, you have to master the iterator interface. So this interface, it is a member of the Java collection framework. It is not the same as a collection or a map. It does not store elements, mainly iterative access. That's called an iterator. Okay, so how do we use it? First, we go through the collection object. You get the iterator object. And then there are two common methods in it. One is called hasNext. The other one is called next. Next simply iterates over the next element. So let's demonstrate its operation. Here we first add three elements. After we've added them, well start iterating through the iterator. Get the iterator object. We can call one of its methods. That's to determine whether there is a next one. We can use the hasNext method. We can see if there is a next one. The result is true. We then iterate over the collection using the next method, then print it. Then we'll see if there's a next one. Then go down. Let's see if there's a next one. The result is facile. So based on this feature, we can do this with a while loop. With a while loop, so let's take a look. You've got all of them. This is the use of iterators. Well, after using iterators, can you delete it? There's a problem with concurrent operations. When we use an iterator, it's pointing to the position. at the front of the array. So is there a next? Is actually shifted to the right. The pointed element is output using the next method. It's about iterating over the elements of an iterator. The concurrent modification exception is when we iterate. If we call the collections remove method to delete, iterators are then used to iterate the elements. Then an exception will occur.
Look at this. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the way it's written, right? Then we execute. You see, this is when the exception is fired. Well, the reason is that, when we're iterating, if you want to change an element, then the number of times, the number of times it changes and the number of times it iterates, doesn't match the number of times we've checked. That's when the exception is thrown. So how do we solve this problem? Two ways. The first is to remove it. Directly add a break. You see this time there will be no exception. There is another way. Instead, use the iterator call the remove method. This is also possible. Enough about using iterators. Next. We'll look at another iterate. For it can also iterate over collections. Its use follows its syntax. The type of element in the parentheses container. Then space the temporary variable. Colon container variable. And then we have the. Execute the statement. So it's a more concise for loop. For iterate elements in an array or collection. So look at the following example. We add three elements to an array list. Then we iterate over it with four. Also known as augmented for loops. Object is a type belonging to elements. Then list is the collection container that we want to iterate over. Obj is a temporary variable to assign to each element. Then we demonstrate through the code. After that, we can fork it out. Because each item in the list iterate is assigned to the variable obj, execute. You can see the result of his output. It's no problem. It's important to note here. The for only to query cannot be used to modify. For example, we're going to change this array element now. Let's print the original list collection again. It doesn't change the value of each term to a. It doesn't affect the original values. Because now I'm iterating the elements. It's just given to this temporary variable. So it doesn't affect the data in the original collection. 
Well, if you want to change it. Using a for loop. This is equivalent to changing every index position. And then after that we print the list. The execution is all changed to all. So, if you want to change the data, you can use this for loop. For is only used for viewing. That's the use of for.